Chandler Academy. The criteria for admission is status and wealth. But to be popular at this private school, you must fit in or pay the price. Stop, Harlan! All of this will change upon the arrival of a new student. I'm Luke. The new guy. Of course. And for three seniors... Don't you ever want to fit in just once in a while? ...who will do anything to be on top. But to be part of the in crowd... We're gonna be friggin' kings. There is a price to pay. First you break this taboo, and then I'll show you how to break ten others. Carl here from Games, Brains and Headbang Life, GBHBL.com for sure, and it's horror movie review time. Hey, it's the second Brotherhood movie, released the same year as the first in David Decotier's directed homoerotic horror series. The Brotherhood 2 Young Warlocks is a slight improvement over the original movie, thanks to an increase in entertaining elements, even if it is so similar to the first movie that notable differences are actually quite hard to find. John Van Owen, played by Sean Farris, is a young, chiseled, and good-looking man. So, of course, he's a nerd who can't muster up the courage to ask his crush, Mary, played by Stacey Scowley, out on a date. He can't, hangs around with his two equally nerdy friends as they try to avoid the campus bullies, led by Harlan, played by Noah Frank. I'm doing that because you take one look at these dudes and you, they're like, you, they're in no way encapsulate what a nerd is. It's David Ducotier's world. But everything changes for John and his friends when they meet the new kid on campus, Luke, L-U-C, played by Forrest Cochran, a confident, mysterious and attractive young man who promises to trio power and status. All they have to do is join him and do what he says. Of course, as the title suggests, Luke is a warlock and his promises aren't quite what they seem. Unlike the first movie, The Brotherhood 2, Young Warlocks is far less coy about what it's about. The water aspect is out in the open quite early on and never really goes deeper than surface level when it comes to mythology. However, just like the first movie, the idea of a secret society, secret societies in general existing within college campuses, grounds, that's interesting. It's just a bit of a shame that the film doesn't really do anything that interesting with it. Of course though, these films are famous for one reason and one reason alone, and it is the homoerotic angle. Something that was, surprisingly, and disappointingly, tame in the original, but has ramped up to a delightful degree in this sequel. If you're game for seeing a lot of young, good-looking men frolicking about in their tidy ways, and this film will deliver, sometimes to such an extent that it almost becomes laughable. We're looking at you, pool scene extended lengthy, hilarious and then just boring pool scene it's light and horror it's got average acting there's some very awkward dialogue and an overall low budget sheen that dates the movie significantly it looks like it existed and came out in 2001 the brotherhood two young warlocks probably shouldn't be enjoyable yet i think it kind of rises above all these issues to keep the viewer engaged and entertained throughout I feel I'm very positive about this series at this point. I don't think this is a good movie. I don't, definitely not a great movie. Barely a good movie. It's distinctly average. But considering what they're famous for, considering this is my first watch through of the entire series, I'm proper on board at this stage. I like the first one. I like this one a little bit more. And there are still plenty more to come. So I'm definitely game for this. The Brotherhood 2. Young Warlocks. you got any thoughts on it? You know what to do. Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, consider donating to keep the website and channel running by buying us a coffee via our coffee page or picking up some merch from our big cartel store. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as via our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as listen to our interviews via SoundCloud, Apple Music, and Spotify. Just search for GBHBL games, horror, and heavy metal. What else is life for?